Hey, it's Josie with Affirmation Pod, your home for self-care and reflection. I hope as you're listening to this, you're ready to see yourself in a new light. Welcome to new listeners. Welcome back to returning listeners. This week's episode is Affirmations for a Positive Body Image. It comes by request from Candice who said, I was hoping you could make an episode about positive body image. I struggle with overeating, binge eating, and appreciating my body as is. It also is a request from Gabe who said, I'd love an episode on positive body image. I changed my diet and lost 65 pounds over the last eight months, but I still struggle at times with it. I have one body. It does amazing things for me every day. My lungs, my heart, my bones, my muscles, my skin, everything functions and flows so beautifully for me every day. My body helps me out in so many ways. And yet, sometimes I look at my body and I just don't like what I see. I'm not happy with the way it looks and I want to change this. I want to befriend my body. I remember that my body's gotten me through some tough, tough seasons of life. And I want to come to a place where I love everything that I see. I am who I am. I have one body. It's mine. It doesn't belong to anyone else. And it's time to unstick body shaming comments and replace them with body loving comments, body loving messages, body loving experiences. Because this version of me is this version of me. It's not who I used to be and it's not who I'm gonna be in the future. I'm on a life journey with my body and I'm moving away from being quick to criticize, shame and hate my body to being quick to love, accept, and have compassion with my body. It's not about looking my best, it's about feeling my best. And all the mental, emotional, spiritual, relational healing that I'm doing, it's also physical. My body is a part of my healing journey. And I thank you now, my body, for how you have helped me, how you've held me, how you've healed me, I appreciate all the messages you've sent me when I've been stressed and needed to deal with it. And yeah, I have goals for my body, my eating habits, my exercise habits. And I remember one way to reach my goals is to transform how I think and what I believe. A healthy mind translates to a healthy body. So I check in regularly with the messages I give my body. And I correct myself when I'm off track. I'm in charge of my thoughts. I'm in charge of the messages I have for my body. I control what voice I use when I look at my body. I'm choosing to love my body. I'm choosing not to take out my anger on my body. I'm choosing not to take out my sadness on my body. I'm choosing not to take out my emotional pain on my body. I'm choosing to love and accept my body. I'm choosing to cope in new ways with my struggles, my pain, my personal challenges. I'm taking responsibility for my health. I'm taking responsibility for my body. I'm taking responsibility for my choices. I'm taking responsibility for my actions. Body shaming, weight shaming, too big, too skinny, too disproportional shaming. It's simply not in my vocabulary anymore. I'm no longer an enemy or a frenemy of my body. I'm on the side of loving my body and appreciating my body. And anytime I'm guilty of mistreating my body, I catch myself, I forgive myself, I correct myself, and I move on. I forgive myself and embrace a new path. I let go of old patterns and start new beliefs. That begins by affirming my body no longer being blind to what looks great, acknowledging what I love about my body, what I like about my body. I have new channels for releasing pain. I have new outlets for processing hurt. I have new ways of expressing disappointment. I don't take it out on my body. I embrace this journey with my body. And anywhere, any area, 
where my default is to hate myself and to hate my body, that ends today. That ends here. That ends now. I value my body. I treasure my body. Everywhere I go, my body comes with me. And I'm going to be good to my body. In my actions, in my attitudes, in my messages. I am transitioning from a negative, harmful, shameful body image to a positive, caring, and accepting body image. I'm grateful for my body and everything it does for me, everything it gives me. And I now treat it with the love and respect that it deserves. I love my body and I live with a positive body image. That is my gift for you today. Thank you again, Gabe and Candice, for writing in and asking for this. If you haven't done so already, I'd love for you to leave a rating or a rating and a review in Apple Podcasts by going to affirmationpod.com slash Apple Podcasts. I appreciate that very much. Now go be you, know you, and love you. This is Josie with Affirmation Pod. Bye for now. This has been a Calm Clear Now Network production, executive producer Shell Hamilton. To discover more meditation, visualization, and affirmation podcasts like this one, visit calmclearnow.com.